Hello fellow beings of Middle Earth and welcome back to the Isengard campaign. My Uruk Raiders is just getting charged by the Camus Shadow Knights. And we are actually attacking Dol Guldur and an army just ran out and started attacking us. So now we are fighting these buggers. Let's just speed this lit a little bit up. And we are just going to wait for these guys to come over here. So we already defeated one army, but it wasn't very enjoyable gameplay, so I just skipped it. But we're now at the other army, and if we defeat these guys, we'll have Dol Guldor. So let's just see if anyone will come down here. Yeah, finally some units. These guys just fighting the Shadow Knights. Let's take a look at their stats once they're here. They have 30 total defense, 11 attack, and 10 charge. That's very, very strong stats. And Kamul himself will spawn with that unit. And they're just excellent. Very, very excellent. Now, this is probably going to be the last Isengard e e episode. Just simply because we are very, very close to reaching the victory conditions. And at this point, I'm not enjoying the campaign anymore. So I am going to play the Dwarves of Erebor instead. But don't worry if you don't like them. I will still throw up a faction vote, and you will be st still you will be able to vote for another campaign as well. I actually just left these guys here. I don't know why, but let's just see. Let's see what will happen. So that's definitely going to be interesting seeing a new faction in in action. Because I'm getting rather bored of this campaign at this point. It's just not as exciting as it usually was. Like we did, we did take out. Uh, we have met a lot of factions lately, and that has been very enjoyable. This is going to be uh, very, very bad. We need to send the pikes over here just to deal with these guys. This unit will be evaporated. Just see how strong these guys are. But yeah, so. We have seen the Nazkai, even though we haven't seen all the Nazkai, it really is no difference and it just takes way too long to get them all. In my opinion, the script should be changed and you should just get all the Nazkai at once, reflecting how powerful Isengard would have been when Saruman got the ring. In my opinion, I think that's much better than getting like a couple of Nazkai units every 15 turn. That's just, it just takes way too long. And that's very boring in my opinion. Now these guys are going getting, going to get slaughtered by the Urukai pikemen. Meanwhile we're slaying these guys. Let's speed this up a little bit. Did anyone up there survive? No. All you need to deal with cavalry is just pikes. That's the summary. Oh, these goblin headhunters is actually... We should actually target them and these guys should just start going for the other the last army they're probably we're not, we do not have any cavalry left so we're not going to be able to capture these units which is a shame but at least these guys will have been defeated rook slayers again wow They just keep coming back. But yeah, so I have been playing a bit off camera a couple of turns. We have received two more Nasco. And we're probably going to see a nice battle before this campaign is over with four Nazca in one army. I, I really want that. Just to really show what they have to offer and just have a little bit of fun. Uh, these guys are still not gone. I just bring them down. This is completely just a messy battle, and I don't really care about these units anymore. We're just going to capture the old Guldur, and that's going to be it. I believe we need like five more regions, but we do have Dwarfwa pressing pretty hard in the east, and we're probably going to see the Siege of Mistran today, hopefully. Probably we can see some interesting units from um, Arun.
These guys will have to go for the Dolgul Door host. Goblin Headhunters are still being up there. I'm just going to charge them without my ashes. I don't care at this point. Alright, these guys defeated the Camel Shadow Knights. Wonderful. Let's just speed this battle up at full pace. Like, Dogledore is a. They have been given a couple of changes, and one of them is the Poison Arrows. And that definitely gives them a very good point. Or at least diversity towards Mordor, which is just very equal. But no, no longer. These guys are definitely going to be much more powerful now. You can easily use this to route even else if you are playing properly. So that's that's really cool. Now they're all going to route because the general is down. But we're probably not going to be able to capture Dolgaldor just because they got all of these. Because we're not able to capture these guys. Yeah, these guys will be gone anyways. Let's just see if we can capture anyone. Doesn't look like it. At least we took down the general. But yeah, so I am going to set up a faction vote. And I want you guys to vote on what faction uh, is going to take over for the Angmar uh, campaign once that is finished. Because we only need like 5 regions there as well. So it's soon to be over. So, I, I'm going to set up a lot of alternatives, because I know you guys have a lot of different opinions on what factions you want to see. So I'm going to try to include as many as possible. Yeah, okay, let's just exit. Alright, okay battle. But what lack, what DAC is lacking at this point is a more interesting endgame. Uh, like, just being able to recruit a lot more units is going to be way better. I know they have reached the, f the limit for as many units they can, but what they could do is just make more units available. For example, when we bring down Mordor, like, we can recruit the Olokai, but why not be able to recruit some Temple Wards and the Great Beasts as well? Just a little bit more variety would be good, because it gets really boring. To be completely honest. Oh, another Yeri army. Alright, I'll have to fight these guys off camera. Even though these units are pretty interesting. But I'm not going to go into detail about them. But uh, this is a new elite unit for Dolgaldor. They are javelin wargs with 9 missile attack. That's pretty strong. And they're effective against armor. And they scare horses. So, very good unit. And better judge general, so we're going to be able to bring him down and we're going to capture Dolgaldor. So I will just see you right after this battle. They were slaughtered. We killed them all. Not entirely, but at least they were routed. Let's hope they don't go inside Dolgaldor now. Because we need to take out five new settlements this episode to be able to achieve the victory conditions. And that's going to be a pain. But we'll see what we can do. Let's exit that battle. Just with two Urukai pikemen units and a proper general, you can do very much. Honestly, numbers in this game doesn't really matter if they are against you. At least when you're playing against the AI. Because the AI just simply doesn't know how to use their units properly. So the meta in this game is just very, very weird. Let's execute them. Ah, oh, we are actually going to be able to sack Dolgaldor. Beautiful. Now, that's good. Let's hope we can just hold it out with Ogluck. Or right, that's going to be the plan anyways. Oh no. The Varags might actually declare war on us now. Alright, so I'm going to show you what I did while off camera. Oh, wow, a lot of shit happened. Alright, 
let's just check this very quickly. Nothing special. All right, so I took out Tauska Hatrog and Ethering. Stewed Arodion is actually going to fall right now. And here we are actually just going to assault Elthelon. Yeah. And over here. Oh, Lunsag was actually supposed to go here, but that's all right. Thanos is the last settlement. So if we just take out his Zylon, uh, I'm just going to... We're definitely going to win this. Uh, Alright, I will just see you right after the battle. Alright, so I just ultra sold it. I just wouldn't... Um, I didn't want to play that, but yeah. It uh, favored us pretty well. And we even got a new general, so that's fine. And we can just start besieging these guys as well. Doesn't really matter at this point. And over here, we do have some new uh, Nazgul generals, and we also have a super stack. I just wanted to show you this. So, in this army, we're just going to exchange out two units, and we're going to make a super push and just bring down a couple of settlements. Now, so we hold 46, and we need 50, so four more. And over here, we actually lost Taragrondos due to rebels. So, these guys are now pushing back and we're going to obtain it again. So that's going to be one settlement. And over here, I have been expanding. I don't even remember what settlement I had when I showed you the battle map last time. And also here, I took out Tvarfest as you saw. And I have already taken Enmahad. And I'm now pushing straight for Mistrand. Which I think is going to be interesting. Get ready for fighting. Come on. So we're going to see some a nice battle over here as well. We have completed now you can't really Let's do much over here. Objective complete. I'm also recruiting Olokai, but they're just going to take very long. So you might not even see them in this campaign. But I am going to play a mortar campaign um, after, in the next update. And we're definitely going to see them at that point. Listen, listen now over here... Yeah, this army is just so powerful, isn't it? Let us we can't really take out Get these guys. I'm tempted to just go Let for another... Is that what you want? Is ...kind of that what settlement, you want? to be honest. Now, I took out Erui as well. And the dwarves are on their way towards Casa Doom. <sighs> That's so stupid. Yeah, we're going to lose that catapult now, which we very much needed in this settlement, just because this guy blocked the settlement, but that's alright. Let's just bring a couple of more archers inside, and we'll be able to hold them out. I could very well just abandon this at this point. Let's get more units here. We're just going to hold Dolgodor. We can't recruit, yeah, we can't recruit Naskai from this region. They should make Naskai more common, to be honest. Uh, I moved Saruman over here just for fun. Alright, so four regions, we got this one. We'll have to, and we're going to get Tarnost. Oh, they have some real units here as well. Things can only get better between We're also flourishing in money, like, no issues there. Alright, so I'm just going to rush for the last settlement. We have some Nazca on over here. Don't sleep in here. We probably need to leave a couple more units here. Yeah, that's fine. And there he goes, and we got a new general, that's useful. And let's just head up for this settlement over here. These two armies can crush the army here in between. We have some nice Kai here as well, which is cool. 
yeah, not any point to build stuff at this point. We're just going to see some nice action, and that's going to be this episode. And it's going to be the very finale. But there's no doubt that we would have been able to conquer the whole of Middle-earth. It's just at what cost, how long do you really want to like, continue this campaign and keep going. No, we're just going to go straight for Mistron. And we can take out that Helon as well, and I think we are going to be able to take down all the settlements we need at that point. So bringing down Gondor is definitely a nice way to end this campaign. Because they have been our enemy since around the 50th turn. Oh, the elves are actually coming for Dantalad. We do have an army here, of course. But we don't want to lose any regions this episode. They're attacking the camp! The Woodland Realm is also here. Let us try words and not war wow. for a change. Wow, no, we're Very not well. going to uh, do anything. We're not going to give them 30,000 for a ceasefire. Oh, they're going to attack us once again. We'll just have to try to escape this carnage. Yeah, we could just win this battle. I'm just not very Retreat. concerned about it. And now we have two armies pushing us from two sides over there. But I'm going to take out Thanos and I'm going to auto solve it. And perhaps we can even bring down Dol Amroth if we are lucky. And they were pushed back. And the steward is about to go down. The last steward of Gondor. A pitiful human with no relations to the real bloodline, I suppose. Alright, Dwar. Yeah, you head up. Get ready for fighting. No sleeping here. Let's see if there's anything useful here. Alright, let's see what they got. Uh... Come on. They got some settlement around here in uh, the Oh, yeah. This will be no problem. And then we go inside. And you head up and take the settlement over there. We do have the army to face them over here. And Lurch can just build a couple more watchtowers and just go back to be honest. Now let's see if we can give this guy some real units. Now it's going to be nice to see four Nazkai units in the same army. That's just going to be an utter slaughter. Alright, if we attack Ad, Ad Hagan. Yeah, all of these armies are going to engage us. Wow, that's going to be a nice battle actually. Just seeing some real power. Very nice way to end the episode. In the or the campaign. In the Gondor campaign I also like ended the campaign with a large stack with just elites and we got it right here. Uh, alright, I will see you on the battlefield. The Nazca are ready for some new blood. And four of these are now gathered together. One without Nazgul, and three are indeed the servants of Saruman themselves. So we're just going to let these guys come at us and just have fun, to be honest. Now these guys are honestly not the kind of unit you want to charge with the cavalry, so we're going to wait a little bit with that. But the trolls can definitely charge them. They only have, yeah, they don't really have any units to be worried about. I'm just going to charge the trolls over here and use the works as well. And over here we're just going to let the armies rush over. And we're going to completely surround them with Nazca. Honestly, Nazca is just a powerful unit, but they're, I, I don't think the Natha bombs are sufficient enough for what they should. Like, in melee they are monsters though, so I understand why their missiles is not perhaps the best just look they just hide just before these guys actually came that's kind of cool they're going to get slaughtered 
Alright, let's get this get let's get these works out. Let's hope it's going to be a nice battle. I really want this campaign to end in fashion. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. There we go. Works like eating these guys definitely. Now what unit is running? Ah, oh, the forces of Hallet. Let's get them boys. Now if you really gather up all the Nazca in one army, I wouldn't like I think they could basically kill all armies by themselves. That's that would be a pretty cool experiment. But they could get surrounded though. But they are going to get the new relentless uh, trait or yeah or actually it's like uh, ability of course uh, it's going to come out in a new patch and what is this going to do well it's going to give you the ability to not get stun locked which is quite nice to be honest uh, so you very small units are going to get this ability and then it will not be easy to just surround elves because a lot of them will have this trait, at least a general, for what I know. Alright, let's see what they're bringing. Oh, they're actually bringing up... Oh, wow. <laughs> Just look at that. They're actually bringing up these guys. And we don't want these guys to cause some trouble. They have their Javis, of course. So let's give them some fire, shall we? Javi versus Javi. There we go. They're going to throw Javins back at us. So that's a fair match, to be honest. Now, why not get some fire on the front line? And how are these guys doing? Yeah, they're doing fine. And the works are occupied. Like, these guys just have insane amount of armor. Even javelins don't completely kill them. Oh, that's it. That's what we want to see. Oh, that's so beautiful. So enjoyable. Now, you guys as well, just let all the units throw their javis. These guys. And now, let's just send them over there. And if you want me to upload this campaign to Dropbox or something, so that you can just try it out, and just keep going from where I left. Certainly I could do that if you want. Now let's see these guys throw some real fire here. There we go. But you see they're like they're just not really tearing apart as many units as I would hope they did. Yeah these guys are going to have some fun. I'm just going to let these trolls fight their deaths and see if they can kill them all. Let's use the abilities, we have a lot of Nazca. I'm going to send multiple Nazca units over here. No reason to use two abilities, but why not? Uh, let's use these guys here and the Nazca we're going to send over here. But they are sending another army from this side, but they're not really here. So we, now we're just going to send in all the Nazca we have and just use them on the front line. That's going to be exciting. Where are these guys? Let's send the trolls in as well. Just have fun with our units. Yeah, these guys are just going to slaughter every unit they meet. But the, the Nazgul generals can easily be killed. I believe they will respawn, but I'm not certain. So you might want to be a little bit careful. Let's see how many they can kill at a charge. There are 159 at this point. Yeah, they drop pretty fast, like 10 men. These guys are not really firing. Our wargs were just... Yeah, we just left them completely. These guys defeated everyone, it looks like. Or you might want to attack those. Edwath is a real... 
Like, they're really irritating to play against because they have so many Javis and missiles. And the, the reunion is also pretty fast. Oh, the Grey Flood Riders are coming in. Let's give them some hell. Oh, there we go. Alright, let's send in the trolls. And let's just use these guys. The Nas guy can do it on their own, but there's no reason to not use these guys. Let's bring down the Angren Raiders. And this is not really a smart tactic, rolling through your pikes with your trolls. Because to, then they will get kills on the Urukai Pikeman, which lies down, so you might lose a couple of units that way. The Nazkai is just racking up kills over here. Just look at them go. Looking so nice. These guys still have their ammo, they're just not really throwing it, are they? Yeah. Something spelled out. Alright, let's just get this battle over with. These guys were completely successful. Let's get these guys, and you guys can just... Oh, you're going to get pursued. And we don't have any cavalry. That's a really... That's a bummer. These guys are going to get a lot of Javis into these guys, and they're going to lose a lot of men. We could try to charge the trolls in, but they risk getting overwhelmed very easily. Yeah, like we have lost like no Nazca except for in this unit, which is starting to take a couple of hits. Just imagine a bridge battle with all, with all of these Nazca, that would have been very incredible. Very interesting. Right, let's just speed up at this point. These guys still haven't lost a single, single guy. We're not really using our units, are we? This is the trap when you have so many strong units in the army, is that you forget to use a lot of units. Because you don't focus on the proper unit. And that usually happens when I bring too many strong units in one army. Alright, let's see how these guys charge. Oh, they're very tired. But let's see how many they get. He wasn't even... That's really weird. Yeah, they're going to slaughter them nonetheless. To slaughter them all. Yeah, just look at this. This is what usually happens when you meet clans of NY to just running all over the place. Just trying to escape your units. And it will cause a lot of problems. And there we go, Nazkai teaming up with with trolls, like, who can withstand such power. Only half the enemy force remains. Now, in the next patch, the Dwarves of Edeluin is going to get uh, a ring script. Uh, Sauron will offer rings to you, and if you accept, you will actually become at war with most good factions. And I think that will definitely spice up the situation in the West, where there's just almost only good factions that can certainly be interesting now what do we have here these guys around it and here we have Urukai <laughs> Archers there one general goes finally let's get over here Poor people. Nazca lost three guys now at this point.
Nazgul Scream is one of the most powerful abilities in this in deck. Just causes a lot of units to route, but you gotta be within range. If you're not within range, it won't really matter that much. So when these guys are coming in, just look at this now. Yeah, routing immediately. It works so well. Alright, we have killed them all. We can't catch capture them all though, that's a bummer, but these guys got so many kills, I think. Three hundred eleven lost. Yeah, and last guy just racking up kills, all of them. Trolls as well, a lot of kills. It's really fun playing with these armies, but it's no real challenge at this point, and it will just be large stack armies, which will just spam a lot of units, and it gets kind of repetitive and boring. And the reason I'm one of the reasons I'm ending this campaign is because when you like you're meeting so many armies, which it's not very relevant for the screen, and you have to manage so much. So I usually spend like two hours just figuring or killing off armies as such, and it just really reduces my ability to put out videos. So when it comes to this point, you just gotta yeah, you just gotta start a new campaign. Right, we gotta bring these guys down. Oh, they actually. Oh, yeah, it's just a routing in the army, I believe. Yeah, let's hope these guys don't rebel. Let Salmon be there to witness the real victory. So, you always want to keep Salmon very safe from this point on. If you lose him. You are going to, oh, these guys, they might just come for Thorthau. It's not really easy to figure out. But I'm just going to have these units stationed here at the, at the moment. I'm gonna stick you. Have a taste of my blade. Get ready for fighting. No, we're not going to play that battle. Nuzo is on his way. These guys can defend themselves while these guys go in from this side. These guys can't do much against this garrison. We'll find over here. And Dwar will attack Mistra next turn. Beautiful. Watch, you could actually just go for Makaran when I think about it. Let's just siege this place out. There we go. We lost way too many, but it doesn't matter at this point. And now Gondor should be dead, to be honest. They still hold some land. I re don't really get that, but... I don't really know where they hold land at this point. That's very weird. Oh yeah, of course, Thalagrondos is actually over here. Oh, we're probably going to lose that though. Alright, let's just wait a little bit. Let's Get send these guys over here. Objective. Let's kill the steward. There you go. There they are gone completely. No sleeping here. Get ready for no sleeping here. Kill them all. Wow. That's so stupid. I will only address you in battle. It's because yeah, the cell swords have so much armor. But honestly, I thought they would take that. They're rebels after all. Well, we'll have to recruit some more units then. These guys are still very mad. Okay, let's end another turn. Let's see what the world brings to us. At least we got another region. Oh, if they attack. Let's see. This could very well be a bad battle. Yeah, I don't think... We definitely don't have the forces to do this. 
We underestimated them last time and it went really bad. We have completed an objective. Oh wow. Well, we should probably just send the troops we have in Thanos and just group up. Oh, they're now rebelling in Erui. I... We, bring word for you. Very we should have probably have exterminated that place. At this point, you should just exterminate all places because you have the money you want. And you can avoid all this reb... Yeah, all the rebelling. Just look at there, in Balon as well. We're probably going to lose a lot of settlements this way. And we're not going to reach our goal. Well, we'll have to be quite efficient then, so that we get the victory conditions before these guys start. Oh wow, they're going to backstab us. Let's see how many regions we need at this point. Alright. 47, three more regions. Yeah, these guys are having some real trouble here. Alright, I'm just going to alter all that. Four men lost. Wow. Alright, two more regions. Now, Ed Helon would definitely be a nice addition. Prince Adrahel is on his own. And we lost 241. Just how can you tell me that? Right, I'm gonna send it down here. Just to avoid that army. These guys look very mad. This army is reduced to almost nothing after all these additions. Now I think we need some more units here. <laughs> Did recruit a lot though. All right, let's see. Just go very quickly for Metrast. They still haven't managed to take out Linear. That's very surprising. They're really struggling, to be honest. Let's send these guys to the bridge. Oh, no, we were supposed to go that way. All right, we're going to lose that army now. Let's see, Warlord Orash. Yeah, They're probably going to attack. I don't mind, to be honest. Like, we're prepared once you want to attack us. These two more turns. No sleeping here. I'm gonna Side attack you. and Mushnag. Get ready for fighting. Kill them all. We've destroyed the and enemy. there's there's another settlement. If we start attacking them, these guys are going to. Oh yeah, these guys are small problem. And the Ultra Soul against Mordor always goes very well. Alright, so we're going to take out that region right there with our Thalu. And now Mistran finally. And it's a pitiful garrison. Is that even worth watching? I will not waste words on you. Listen up! Pick your feet up! Objective complete. Objective complete. We have completed an No fool, send your emissary to me. Alright, and then there was this settlement we just need some backup, it looks like. They might actually attack um Casadoom, which is quite cool. Could see a nice battle there. And you were looking for, yeah, Dornor. Oh, wow. How do these guys just have all these armies? I will only address Can't believe it. Get ready for fighting. Listen up. Orcs. Pick your feet up. Come and hit 
Alright, I'm just going to rush rush up here. I'm going to see if they're going to attack though. They're probably going to attack. But we can just go right back. Just didn't want to fight those armies. And we'll get another region here as well. Yeah, I think we're just barely going to get 50. Alright. I'm going to show... No, I'm not really going to do that. If you want to see the settlement and the battle, just head over to the Gundoran campaign. I just couldn't bother at this point. Now, let's leave... Yeah, we can't really leave a lot of units. But you, you just understand why I want to do another campaign, because I'm not that motivated anymore. Alright, one more region, and we're going to have the victory. If none of these places vanish, though, they could very well vanish. Wow, look at this army. Monstrous. Get ready for fighting! Oh, we have trolls and Nazca, that was why the Ultras all favored us so heavily. Let's see what this fool will do. Oh, we, <laughs> we gotta get Valorn back. Yeah, that army is gone. Pull back. We must pull back. I wonder how long it would have taken us to bring down the whole of Middle Earth though. The south is a very large region and it takes a long time to progress. But we definitely had the money and after we had taken out Rune, we would have gained so much more money. It's a very wealthy region, indeed. But there's still a lot of factions alive, and we're going to see the toggle foe in the end, just to see what remains. Alright, I'm going to play that battle off camera, and I will be right back. Alright, we brought them down. I just auto resolved it, but it favored us. Now I always find the most exciting. Wow. No, they can't go through there. <laughs> I was wondering what that was all about. It was really weird. Alright. Mistran Auron. Just going to take a drive back. Get ready for fighting. And these guys with the cavalry should be sufficient enough to bring on these guys. M mainly it is the cavalry. Yeah, they're just they just keep going after me. Uh, yeah, alright. We're going to be able to take down this in one turn. Yeah, we're definitely going to reach the requirements this episode. Oh, I didn't see this guy. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Alright, I'm just going to rush for less. And even Agluck is going to partake in the downfall of Rune.
He seems to have buggered off. But they are here now. By the way, don't take tips in this video. Like, of how I'm playing. I'm just rushing at this point. And I'm not properly setting up the economy. And having the upkeep I want. And all of that. So just ignore that. But I'm just rushing to just finish this campaign off finally. It's been the second most enjoyable campaign so far on my uh, channel. Gondor was the most enjoyable for me because it's my favorite faction. But Isengard is my second favorite faction. And it has been a real ride and I really enjoyed it. But the last episodes, like probably two or three, it just haven't been as fun. Oh, they're going to sell it out. Let's see if this force is way too powerful. No, it is not. And so ends the Lamas. They still have three settlements, but we would have been able to overwhelm them and Harad would have kept pushing. And their main focus is now on Mithras. That's funny. Yeah, that was just a diplomat. But the Misty Mountains would have been been starting to attack us. Lothlorien did survive quite heavily though. They're, like the armies they were able to feel is just very powerful. Alright, this battle. There we go. Just look at the other soul when we have trolls and all the, all the Nazca. It's just very incredible. The trolls didn't get the most skills, so the Urukai infantry seems to have some nice stats as well. That's indeed another settlement. And we have met the victory conditions at this point. They would have started uh, attacking us here, yeah. So, the Dwarves of Erebor episode is going to come up in the, like the normal schedule for this video. So, the day after the Remnants of Angra episode, we will have the Dwarves of Erebor. And I'm, I'm just really excited. Alright, we're going to see another battle here. I don't think I'm going to care about it at this point though. Because we have met the victory conditions. Objective complete. All right. Is there anything I have missed? We do hold fifty regions. Oh, geez, we have to <laughs> eliminate. Realm of Lothlorien. I had completely missed that out. Well, what can we do about that now? I'm gonna stick you. Well, that's certainly a shame. Jeez. <laughs> All right, we'll. No sleeping here. Get ready for fighting. Like, we can probably rush and see if we are going to be able to pull this off. Alright, let's just send him up there. Objective, no sleeping here! Kill them all! Them. Oh, That's the power of Ultra Souls. Wow, 145,000 at this point. And this is also what happens when you don't spend any money and you have Listen super many regions. Alright, um, at this point, I'm just going to navigate. Ready 
Just look at these other cells. It's quite funny. Alright, you can just sit there to the end of the days. Those are dropping, but this guy is still here with like so super many units. Oh, this can be fun. All right, I think I'm going to skip, and we're probably just—I'm probably just going to send a large army up, and we are going to just finish them off because I want this campaign to end in proper fashion. So I will see you in a little while. All right, we're here. Brought up a lot of reinforcements. And there we go. It is gone. Lord of the Galarium. And there we go. You have won this game. Other people celebrate this victory. Would you like to continue and gain even greater glory? No, we're going to say thank you right there. So that's the end of the Isengard campaign. This has certainly been a very nice adventure. We did get the ring. We broke down Rohan in 15 turns and had we decided to go for Castle Doom and Lorien earlier we could have won this campaign much faster but of course I wanted to get the ring and get a long campaign and we definitely succeeded in doing that I am very happy with this campaign in general I think we did quite alright if there anything I could have done better that's perhaps in Western Gondor, where I did underestimate uh, the Sworn Knights a lot, and we lost the important battle there. But otherwise, I can't really think about anything I could have done better. In the last 15 turns now, I, I just auto sold a lot of stuff, and I didn't really play properly. But it, it was still... We just had to end this campaign now. Uh, but we, we did get the victory conditions and I'm going to very much look forward to playing the Dwarves of Erebor now, doing something new and the Remnants of Angmar episode will, uh, campaign will probably end pretty soon as well. But with that I think that's it. So thank you guys so much for being with me this whole campaign, I really appreciate it. Uh, do leave a like and subscribe if you want to watch the Erebor campaign and support me via Patreon if you like. And for now, I'll see you guys for the Angmar campaign and the Doors of Erebor campaign. Goodbye.